Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, I kind of wanted to show you something today. I wanted to show you something today about um, how I see the weather and the way I do it. So I'm going to open up um, my, this is the Buddha page. That's what I call it, the Buddha page, but it's the Buddha from Mississippi uh, blog page. It's a blogspot.com if you know what I'm talking about. Now we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're going to get right in here where we're talking about the blue room go about past it now this is what I want to talk about I want to talk about the weather uh, Bounty Bay in Falmouth Jamaica that's Burwood Beach okay what time is it right now it's 925 that's going to put us 8 a.m. that puts us right about here so if you look at this, the gusts are six, the wind is four, and it's not good all day long, no wind. So I thought I would show you how I keep up with the wind, and this is one, one of the ways. But now I'm going to look at this. This is uh, ikitesurf.com, and this is seven days. Let's look at today's Sunday. Monday and then Tuesday and Wednesday hmm Wednesday that that's too low right there Thursday that's too low Wow so that leaves me with uh, powder board and let's see what the actual weather is going to be for what's the weather temperature in Missouri let's look at that real quick fifty two degrees it warmed up quite a bit quite a bit All right, I'm gonna jump over over here to uh, Trelawney Parish and this is just one of the weather stations that I can pull up Okay. Well, let's see what they got for a 10 day outlook. Okay, on the 10 day outlook, now you can see where the wind is. See, the other archite was giving me one, two, three five six seven seven days so the winds gonna be here next Saturday we're Sunday that's a whole week so I've got plenty sunshine and possible winds maybe Wednesday Thursday the minimum amount of wind until Saturday and then all of a sudden Saturday we shoot up to like 22 miles an hour well that's gonna be interesting all right, well, we got this open. I'm going to try something. And um, this is the real reason the U.S. wants regime change in Venezuela. And this is storm clouds gather. I'm going to see if, it, uh, if we can hear it and what it looks like. The U.S. and its allies have decided to throw their weight behind yet another coup attempt in Venezuela. As usual, they... I'm going to check something. We got the... the um, everything maxed out on the volume so you might not be able to hear it but i can hear it storm clouds gathered is uh, a really cool guy uh, he used to make a lot of videos he got slammed by youtube and censored and shadow banned and kicked to the curb as it would be like a lot of people and so he's slowed down but this one caught my attention because uh, the way that he's saying it you have to really think about why why did Trump like agree with this one guy so quickly and so he goes into detail now let me say this his work is creative commons in other words that means um, I it, you're, it's free to upload it's free to uh, replay it's free to do these things with and um, so I'm gonna play just a little bit and kind of talk about it 
because I know um, some of my Q friends are going to get like, why are you pushing your objectives for democracy and freedom? Nothing can be farther from the truth. The following presentation will expose the real motives and human consequences of this gambit. We'll start with a quick rundown of recent events. To fully understand those events, however, will require a history lesson. Background check on key players. Supporting links, documentation, and updates can be found at stormcloudsgathering.com forward slash Venezuela. On January 23, 2019, Venezuela's opposition leader Juan Guaido declared himself acting president and called upon the armed forces to dissipate the government. I'm going to check something before I go on any further and see if I can get this volume higher. Very few had ever heard of this man. He never actually run for president. Guaido is the head of Venezuela's National Assembly, a position very similar to Speaker of the House. Within minutes of this declaration, U.S. President Donald Trump took to Twitter to recognize Guaido as the president of Venezuela. Right. Within minutes, that's what that says. Within minutes, President Trump, Trump took to Twitter, Twitter to back this guy. I've, I've seen that tweet almost live, real time, and I felt really funny about it. I felt like, uh, what is really happening? So that's when I found this video from Storm Clouds Gathered, and he goes into detail. Let's see if we can hear it. That's a good point. That's, that's some of the type of things that you know you think about is if you're going to do something in one place, why don't you do it in another? So I'm not saying this guy is right or wrong. I'm just saying this is another way of looking at the um, the world events that are taking place in Venezuela. I've always known that Venezuela is the the way Venezuela goes is going to be the way that a lot of other countries are going to go around the world as this shift of the ages changes, you know, the collective consciousness. So not right, not wrong, but let's hear a little more, see what he says. Wow, if that's true, um, it's, it, it could take a turn for the worse. Who knows? Let me see why I've got this open. I wanted to check something out. So, oh, let me try this real quick. No, I don't think I can do it from here. Well, this is just one big test to see if I can kind of show you real time um, stuff about how how I do what I do. And so I can tell I got a lot of practicing to do. 
let me uh, let me switch uh, cams. All right, now you you can see me full screen. That's good. So um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be no wind for quite a few days. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, go to the beach and run and um, paddleboard and do stuff like that for a while until the weather gets back right. Now I do have that little thing at the bottom. You see I'm actually moving it. I thought it'd be cool to show you how I ended up making that but now that I realize that you really can't see the cursor I've got to study how to make the cursor show up and do things like that. Okay well things are things are really happening in the world so when you want to see what I'm up to and, and see the blog page that's yeah that's that's something a way to keep up with with what's going on so let me show you that real quick reload that page all right that's the latest video and then you scroll down you get this one from David Wilcox this one is interesting but still no real world evidence of tribunals happening David quotes that it is possibly going down right now as we even speak but um I went ahead and posted that anyway it, it it could be very interesting now let me let me highlight this lady right here real graceful really graceful and that's her YouTube channel she is really good I really enjoy her and um, let me, I want to test this is just a test people don't panic this is just a test I want this uh, screen reader to read this to me and um, give you an idea of what a dyslexic person has to go through to try to uh, consume all this information. Now I'm going to play it for, and see if it plays through as a test. Yeah, she, she really goes into detail about the history of the, the football league and how the Super Bowl came to be and um, gives you an understanding of, of how mass mind control takes place inside of uh, this entertainment mega that used to be uh, the halftime just had marching bands and, and that was it. You know, it wasn't no hoopla, but she said in 1993, uh, Michael Jackson did it, you know, live from the Super Bowl and was the first megastar to do that. So it followed suit with uh, a gamut of names that you, you know, you all know and you see. So this year when they're watching the Super Bowl, people are taking consideration that um, it's just a game. But when you look at the, the, mechanism behind it, it it does tie to a lot of nefarious type of getting a message across that uh they want to get across now this is a real good video about um papayas i really enjoyed papayas 
And um, Kimberly is the lady that I, I stay with here at the Blue House and help her with her social media and teach her tips and tricks and things like that. She really wants me to start eating the seeds. So today, I have, I've ate seeds before, but man, they're kind of bitter. I got to come up with the, you know, like <laughs> maybe put them in honey and crush them up a little bit or let them dry and then crush them. I haven't figured out exactly the technique. But um, this is some examples of the benefit, the health benefit of, of papayas. I'm going to see if it's a read through. I may be losing a lot of you people because I'm jumping around, but that's okay. I'm just testing this thing out. I want to know, I want to know which camera I look into and what can be seen and what can't be seen, what can be heard. So this is just a test. I see these young people doing this kind of high tech moving the screens around and things like that and you can tell a story really good like that so that's what i want to get to where i can tell you some stories about how i'm seeing the collective consciousness awake so let's play this and read this about the seeds Fire seeds are also very healthy to eat and can help to kill off intestinal parasites fight bacterial infections and even protect your kidneys apart from consuming papaya Extracts from papaya fruit, leaves and seeds can also boost your health. Papaya extracts are also full of vitamins and have been linked to managing diabetes and they may also have anti-cancer properties. Wow, it's got a lot of good benefits. This is uh, talking about 100 grams of papaya contains 60 megagrams of vitamin C and then vitamin A and just really potassium, manganese. Is that manganese? Let me read that word. Magnesium. As you know, I use female voices because it works better for me. I did have a, a different screen reader and the company just quit, you know, quit updating the app, so. It happens. Papaya fruit and extracts also contain important compounds that have medicinal benefits. For example, papaya contains a compound called papain which has been linked to digestive health and it also has anti-cancer properties. Yep, it does. It has really good properties and I have been eating a lot of papaya and I'm going to continue. Eight evidence based health benefits. Let's just read number one, for example. One, delicious and loaded with nutrients, papaya is the fruit of the Carica papaya plant. It originated in Central America and Southern Mexico, but is now grown in many other parts of the world. Papaya contains an enzyme called papain, which can break down the tough protein chains found in muscle meat. Because of this, people have used papaya to tenderize meat for thousands of years. Is that a fact that you knew or are you just learning? Because it's, that's how interesting when you, when you really look into what you're eating and, and consciously eat is what I've been practicing for quite a few years. And it just, it's nothing fancy. It's nothing um, supernatural. It's no magic to it. It's just that you, when you eat, you be conscious, you be in the moment and the present, and you, you actually intend to get the maximum benefit out of the food that you're eating. If you eat unconsciously, it's, it's like you're not getting the benefit, and it's like you just swallow it down so quickly because you're in such a rush, such a hurry to get to the next little project that you, do, you, you can't even remember what you ate, but when you eat consciously, you remember it, and as you talk to your body, your cells, and you metabolize your food, it has more energy. It has more life-giving nutrients than you had not blessed it. To me, that's what blessing, it, blessing your food really means. It means to talk to it and to actually have the maximum amount of energy and vibration come out of that food. Um, 
Now, this is a cool guy that uh, Bob Pettit in Ozark, Missouri. He can put his hands over his food and and he says, 555 666 555 It's something like that. But what he's doing is, is he's actually putting energy into the food and he's preparing his mind and his and his body to partake of the of the food at its maximum vibrational level for the maximum nutritional value and its cellular cellular memory and literally two days from now you can remember what you ate it's it's amazing i learned so much from people like like bob pettit let me um, see what this is. Oh, the Red Bull King of the Air. Yeah, that's what I got on screen right now. I can't play it because I don't want to get a copyright strike. But um, uh, Kevin Laguer, how do you pronounce his name? Where's his? Where's he at? Kevin. Yeah, here it is. Langerie. Langerie. He is becoming a YouTuber. Uh, it was this time last year. No, actually, it was maybe six months before the Red Bull last year, and he won it. He was king of the air last year. I started sending him text messages and talking to him uh, via chat. And now we're not friends, and and he doesn't call me, and I don't call him. But somehow I managed to help him subliminally and i've done this for other people I, I i just send them tips and tricks about how to become a youtuber and i encourage them most people are, are making the mistake of not making enough videos they make one a month he was making one every three months and i actually maybe helped encourage him to start making them as often as he could and i noticed that he started doing maybe two a month and then after he won King of the Air, it shifted over to making uh, kind of close to um, maybe two every two weeks. And now it seems like he's in the modality of making them pretty regular. Now the King of the Air is still going on in South Africa. He hadn't, he hadn't won yet, but I'm really pulling for him. And that's a kite loop. And that's what you're looking for. You want that kite to be as low as your body and you as high off the water as you can get. And he's good at it. Oh, the Edge of Wonder guys. Oh, they're, they're so cool. If you haven't heard of Edge of Wonder and uh, you want to see more of their videos, you come to uh, this Buddha page and you'll find uh, links to some of their videos. They're just really good. They they go into detail and they just got a cool way of making videos. Oh yeah, the last serial brain um, deal was really interesting. So if you haven't caught up with serial brain, you can come to my website and you can catch up with serial brain and understand. And we know is the guy that puts it together. It's amazing. Now this little deal about the TSA was really interesting. And James James Colbert did a really good deal on that. Now his work is Creative Commons also. So we can listen to a little bit of it. In 1961, a psychologist conducted an experiment demonstrating how ordinary men and women could be induced to inflict torture on complete strangers merely because an authority figure had ordered them to do so. 150 volts. Answer, force. In 2001, the United States government formed the Transportation Security Administration to subject hundreds of millions of air travelers to increasingly humiliating and invasive searches and pat-downs. These two phenomena are not as disconnected as they may seem. Today we explore the TSA and other experiments in evil.
This is the Corbett Report. Wow, he does a real thorough job, and uh, the way that he links these experiments together with what's going on in, in real world time today. Um, I'm not going to give away the whole video and, and try to explain it. It's just that the two go together. And at the end of the video, he gives us uh, an understanding of maybe there's a way to supersede the, the evil intent of what they're doing. This is the surprising conclusion that has been scrubbed from most accounts of the Milgram experiment. This obedience, once modeled, becomes an option in the mind of the public. Remember this the next time you're at the security checkpoint. When you are asked to step into the body scanner, those behind you will be watching. Your choice will make a difference. When someone is being molested into TSA pat down and you are witnessing it, those around you will be taking note of your reaction. Your behavior will affect theirs. Okay, I'm going to stop it there, but that's the key of what he's saying is your your attitude towards what's going on with the TSA is a reflection of the collective consciousness, total awareness of what it means to have this throw down our, our throats for all these years. And we're not going to say it's the norm anymore. We're going to literally opt out, speak up, and say without getting thrown all out of the airport that, hey, this ain't right. And that's what people don't do. They don't talk to each other. So when I'm actually in the airport, I actually start talking to people about why do we have TSA? And they say it's for security. And then I say, well, you ought to come and look at this video and go to my, my, my channel. And I, I ref, you know, refer them to people like the Covert Report because he is really good at explaining this deception. So not knowing how far and how long I've been going, I need to get ready to stop. So I'm going to go one more page over and see back to talking about kiteboarding. Man, I tell you what, I can't wait to fall. Uh, that's low wind, so I, if I had a good full board right now, I'd, I could possibly fall. And that was a cool video. The Blue House is available for uh, for room rental, and um, you, you just call the number that's on the website and talk to Kimberly, and you can get a real good rate. The Lobster Man. Let me play that, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna get ready to. Hey everybody, I'm back in Jamaica, and you ain't gonna believe who I see. Leon, the Lobster Man. Look at he got all this. This is his whole area, and he's cooking some of the best lobster. Tell him what you're cooking tonight. Tonight I'm gonna do some some steamed fish, some red snapper. I'm gonna do grouper. I'm doing 40 people, and I'm gonna do all this on lobster and some roast yam. Wow. Cultural food, you know? Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. All right. You got it going on. Yeah. All right, so when you come to Burwood Beach, whether you're Kiter or you're friends from Canada, yeah. I am Cat Can Canada. When you see this sign, you got it. Yay. Yeah, you got to love it. Leon cooks some really good food at Burwood Beach. If you're at the Royalton White Sands, you um, go walking towards the east and you'll run into Leon the Lobster Man before you get to the actual public beach of Burwood, the Burwood Public Beach. So people, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it with you. Really enjoyed this test. I hope it all worked and and showed out and showed up for what it's actually doing and technically i've got to learn to do this so when breaking stories happen i can go live and keep my people up on what's happening so without further ado i'm gonna 
stop this stream. Peace. <laughs> Let me do this real quick. Now you can see me big, big full screen. I am losing weight. <laughs> I'm eating healthy. I'm having fun. And I need some kiters to come. The wind's going to get really good uh, in seven days. I know that sounds like, why is it is it doing that? Well, they just had a rainy period in there, so it's the, wet, the, the weather's changed. But um, I'm going to increase. You know, I showed you that it was that far out, seven days before the wind gets here. I'm going to set my intention and, um, and actually move some wind into this area. And let's just see over the next few days uh, how that turns out. I've had luck with moving rain. I've had luck with uh, bringing wind before. So I'm going to go on the record now and say that, um, yep, that is something that I'm, I'm going to set my intention to do. So now that I said that, I want to recap something real quick. Let me do that. Mm, go here, here, go here and show you the seven day forecast. It's at the bottom of my website. So this is the very bottom. And there's the seven day work forecast. One today, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, you see these low numbers at the top? Um, these are all gonna change. I need uh, every bit of 15 to 18 mile an hour winds. We're gonna have some gusts, 21, and then here we got 22, but we need these numbers higher. So the next time I make a video, you can actually tune in and see, did I actually get that, that part right? And then we'll be able to go from there and say, yeah, he did it, he got it right. Okay, I'm fixing to close out with my uh, ending video. Appreciate it. Leave a like, subscribe and share this video. If, if I'm helping you in any way, subscribe and share. If I'm encouraging you to live your dream at any age, subscribe and share, subscribe and share, uh, leave a comment. Uh, I love helping people understand that we can have fun at any age. Thank you. Watch the uh, ending bumper and I'll talk to you on the backside.